Hello, hello, and welcome to my swordless run. A uh, few notes before I start this game. This run can be pulled off on an actual console, so you don't need an emulator to do this run. And uh, thank you, Super Scooch, for your very useful video tutorials. Uh, especially about wall clipping and other clipping tutorials. And thank you Scavi underscore for showing some uh, great tricks. So here we go. Swordless run. Our first goal will be to get past the guards and then head off to the first dungeon. spamming the same message over and over again until you get the sword or saber. So let's do this pretty fast. This is by no means a speed run. <laughs> it's just the opposite. But that message would drive me crazy otherwise. So let's get rid of it. And one thing worth to mention is that you need to time this really well. Uh, if you get that message after you get the pendant from the boss, but before you get outside the castle, the game will soft lock itself. You have to reset it. Just wanted to mention that.
No soft locking. Great. I just wanted to say that some of my videos will be pretty long and some will be shorter. I guess they will vary great in length. I suppose. are kind of glitchy right now and uh, Link can easily be caught in an infinite loop that will uh, soft lock the game and uh, I have to walk back into Link's house to reset everything back to normal but I can't reach the door the normal way and this is a glitch I found out some time ago uh, the direction back into Link's house is Right, so the door is actually here. So everything is back to normal and we can go and save Princess Zelda without getting this war. But I will do that in the next part. 